So we are going to talk, of course, about the satanic Olympic ceremony, really a ceremony to honor Brigitte Macron. In my view, they were mocking the Last Supper by putting on a show. So I'm going to show you this still as a beginner so you can understand and see that side by side. I mean, it is exact. It is as exact as it possibly could be to mimic and to mock and to pervert the Last Supper. It's meant to be an attack on Christianity, an attack on Christ. It is a way for them to signal that the devil has won. Because that's what they believe. They believe that Satan has won. And why wouldn't they believe that, by the way? We have so many people right now, and by the way, I say this without any judgment because I was one of these people, who are running around not even realizing that we are fighting a spiritual battle. You know, I actually wish we could show you the ceremony and, like, go over it just— Every second, every second by every second, so you can really understand what is happening. But of course, they would hit this because part of what they're trying to do, of course, is to use the mainstream media to pretend like everything you saw wasn't exactly what you saw. Because as I've told you guys, we are now at the point in human history where they are signaling to us that we should not believe our own eyes. And what did our own eyes tell us? Well, obviously, they were mocking the Last Supper. Hey, queens, tired of feeling stuck and overworked? Check out the video on my website and see if digital marketing may be your way out. Hope to hear from you soon. My name is Oshun Amare. On this channel, we uncover the creepiest, most unusual haunted TikToks the internet has to offer for entertainment purposes. Please. Do me a favor and like, comment, and subscribe to the Soul Tribe for your weekly dose of Supernatural coming to you every Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and a bonus day. <laughs> Y'all my Soul Tribe and Tribe is with a Y because the Y is for you because I love you guys so freaking much. <laughs> now, we got to talk about these Olympics, honey, because... It was diabolical and very disrespectful. So let's get into these videos. <laughs> God himself sent a message after the opening ceremony of the Olympics where the Last Supper was mocked. Paris reportedly experienced torrent rains and a citywide power outage after the opening ceremony. Approximately 85,000 people were affected by the blackout except for one building. This church, the Basilica of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. You can see here in this picture that the whole section of this city was completely blacked out except for this church. How crazy is that? It says in the word of God that God cannot be mocked. So what do you think? Is this God giving a sign and showing himself after they mocked Jesus at the opening ceremony? So you're telling me that this represented Joan of Arc, a dark, mysterious hooded figure riding a dark, mysterious horse doesn't represent this? I mean, and you're telling me that this right here didn't represent this? Cause God, they look really familiar, don't they? Gotta love that headdress too, right? And you're telling me that Snoop Dogg that just so happened to carry the torch to begin with wearing this has nothing to do with it either? Oh, because he's the goat of hip hop supposedly, right? Supposedly, the Olympics said that the performance was an interpretation of the Greek god Dionysus to make us aware of the absurdity of violence between human beings. Violence that definitely wasn't created from a certain deity that aims to mock religion, right? You know, it's funny, so many people are trying to say, oh, well, this is Dionysus and the 12 Olympians. Dionysus wasn't even officially confirmed as an Olympian. And even if he was, and even if that was an interpretation of the 12 Olympians, it has nothing to do with the Olympics to begin with. And even if this did somehow resemble Joan of Arc, right? Does anybody even know the background of Joan of Arc? Kind of like how they made a movie for Napoleon. Napoleon, and then have him shooting at the pyramid in the movie. Is it all of a sudden okay to put your own takes on history? Oh, I forgot, it's a movie, my bad. A movie based on a historical character, but you know, whatever. This entire night was just very confusing, was it not? So many things made absolutely no sense at all. I mean, they literally raised the Olympic flag upside down. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, but Palestine showed up, right? That was a beautiful sight to see. 
But regardless, if you just so happen to think that this was a work of art, you might want to rethink your reality. Okay, so first of all, what's crazy is I seen that the Olympics was about to come on. I seen the opening ceremony was about to start, but my spirit changed the channel and my attention went elsewhere. Okay, so I didn't see any of this live and I'm so happy and grateful that I didn't because this whole thing is ridiculously disrespectful. Um, I'm not even Christian anymore. And this is, it makes it sad. Like, it's really sad that the world has come to this. Like, what in the hell? Why? 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 Children watching this, um, older folk watching this, regular good people watching this, and y'all trying to just traumatize everybody's brain and subconscious mind and 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 then say it's art <laughs> uh-huh okay <clears throat> and then they deleted it off a of, uh, a youtube um supposedly they deleted the whole entire opening ceremony as a whole um and yeah you need to take that shit the fuck down um the olympics supposedly took it down but um but um them having a rainfall and the power outage, that's what they get. Like, didn't that happen last year or year before last? And another another country, I don't want to say any country because I forget exactly where it happened. But the same thing, they had a wild, weird-ass, devil-worshipping, like, ceremony, concert, festival or something. And then the next day, destruction, as, as it should happen. Like, what is going on with people? It doesn't make any sense. Um... They were wrong. They were absolutely wrong. Um, and it could have definitely been a sign um, of, you know, punishment. Or that too could have been staged. Who knows? Like nowadays, you never really know. So I don't know. But the fact that the church was the only thing lit up could be staged, could be real. Who knows? Um, but the production management, honey, the whole team, they need to be like, fired or like punished or sat in a corner you need a spanking like what the hell what was y'all thinking y'all just sat around the red table and was like yeah let's do this let's corrupt the whole entire world even more let's turn the olympics into worship satan like what the fuck no hell to the no don't i like y'all just just willingly let me everybody partake in evil a whole, like, everything was just evil. The whole opening ceremony was evil as hell. Like, I don't know. What does, like he said, what did any of that have to do with the Olympics? What did any of that have to do with the Olympics, honey? Tell me, please. And then Auntie Snoop out there making sure he... Being number one the Illuminati puppet. Let me get out there and let them people see me. Like, bruh, really? Like, I wish she was a thug still. Because 
I don't know what he done turned into. Anyway, but um, what the fuck? Like, what's um, what was that comment? Was that a commercial? I I don't watch much TV. Um, was that a commercial that they were showing for the Olympics? What the fuck was that? Somebody, please tell me in the comments. Let me know what was that. And then the 2008 ceremony, opening ceremony. I remember that it was so beautiful. That was beautiful. Um, yes, that was beautiful. Um, versus 2024, and we got a blue man with his balls hanging out. We got Smurf with a rainbow crown and his balls out singing. And that's art. Okay. It's not okay. <laughs> Next video. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't stop laughing at this. <laughs> it's the Last Supper. What the hell is going on? Unless you've been living under a rock, you could have possibly missed the havoc caused by the orchestrated arson attacks on the rail network in France, responsible for bringing many, including athletes, to Paris in time for the opening ceremony for the Olympics. But after seeing that, many are wondering why they bothered. A ceremony that looks as if it had been created by someone on a serious acid trip. It was a very watery event which began on the River Seine with 85 boats with the athletes on board travelling through a lesson in French history. Every stereotype was there. A woman in a dress covered in croissants, can, -can dancing, Lady Gaga gave a great performance, Moulin Rouge dancers and parkour on rooftops. There was a ring of fire in the sky and a recently refurbished Notre Dame Cathedral which featured. There were gaffes with country names. South Korea was labelled North Korea. Uh, you don't want to do that. <laughs> there were upside down flags and a headless Marie Antoinette. Thank God for the closing performance, which was a rendition of Edith Piaf's Hymn to Love, performed by Celine Dion, who is currently battling health issues, though I think God probably would have checked out by now after the woke parody of The Last Supper, which included a blue-coloured character, which could have easily been mistaken for Eagle Piggle from the Night Garden, who I thought was meant to be Jesus, but that actually turned out to be Dionysus, the Greek god of the theatre. Around the table were dancers, models, fashion icons, and drag queen Nikki Doll from the French version of RuPaul's Drag Race. One of them even looks like me on there. I think this was meant to be some sort of fashion show with a female DJ. Many called it a woke parody of Leonardo da Vinci's Last Supper. It was shocking. On X, Elon Musk claimed the performance was extremely disrespectful to Christians, and I'm inclined to agree. Remember what happened with Charlie Hebdo. I can't imagine any other faith taking this line down. The whole thing was bizarre. Attended by an estimated 600,000 spectators, it was a four-hour show full of technical glitches, bad audio and near-torrential rain, with people joking that they really needed to stop the boats. This is the torchbearer at the opening ceremony of the 2024 Paris Olympics, their spectacle bears a striking resemblance to the apocalyptic scene from the 2003 movie, The Animatrix, which tells the story of how mankind fell to the machines. And I looked uh, and behold a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death, and Hell followed with him. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth, to unalive with sword, and with hunger, and with unaliveness, and with the beasts of the earth. The horse was ridden up the Seine River by a masked officer of the gendarmerie, a branch of the French armed forces responsible for public safety, policing and maintaining order. They operate both as a military force and a police force. According to the show's designers, the gendarmerie officer riding the horse symbolizes the strength, resilience and unity of the Olympic spirit while underscoring the importance of security and order during such a significant international event.
Well, well, well. There's currently a blackout in Paris. I knew something was going to happen. My God, bad things happen. The building down there is still on. The building down there, but everything else is, there's no lights. All the building. Did you know that setting aside as little as $300 from each paycheck into a max funded IUL instead of a 401k can give you $610,000 tax-free money and will provide you with $60,000 a year tax-free in retirement? Comment IUL below if you want more information. If you're open to being a financial professional licensed in your state, please send me an email at essence at tenaciouscashflowacademy.com. The Olympic opening ceremony is extremely disturbing and demonic. Here's why. The theme of the event is very symbolic and strange. Firstly, there was a recreation of the Last Supper using these people who dress extremely provocative. This is very disrespectful to Jesus Christ and Christianity. The Olympic received so much backflash for this that they have to take the video down. Not only that, a bullhead was being displayed on the stage. And for those of you who don't know, in the Bible, it represents devil worshipping. Also, near the Eiffel Tower, they showed two people riding a white horse and a pale horse. You may think this is normal, but it's not, because according to the book of Revelation, the white horse represents the Antichrist, while the pale horse represents war, famine, and death. Many people are saying this feels like a ritual and that they're making fun of God, but there was a miracle happen one day after the event. Paris is now experiencing a massive blackout. Many Christians are celebrating this across the globe, claiming it as an act of God. Do you think God did this? Comment down below. If you don't think symbolism is real, look at what just took place during the opening ceremonies for the Olympics. Here we saw a hidden cloaked figure riding on a horse. Behind him, what would seem totally abnormal is a pair of wings. What do we know about Lucifer and his fall? Well, he was a fallen angel and one third of the angels rebelled and fell with him. Revelation 6 mentions the four horsemen of the apocalypse one references to a white horse as well as a pale horse. So I looked and behold, a pale horse, and the name of him who sat on it was Death, and Hades followed with him. In Revelation 6, we're told of the beast that rides the white horse. In Revelation 13, 3, it tells us, And all the world marveled and followed the beast. And what do we see here? That same cloaked figure riding a white horse. What's behind him? all the nations of the world following after him. This stuff isn't a coincidence. The imagery suggests that it's pointing exactly to the beast or the antichrist of the book of Revelation. After a sensational entrance at the opening ceremonies, Satan has once again set the Paris Olympics on fire, this time quite literally with his jaw-dropping performance in gymnastics. In what spectators are calling the most infernal floor routine ever, the Prince of Darkness strutted onto the mat with a flair for the dramatic. Sporting a leotard that could only be described as devilishly stylish, he began his routine with a series of backflips that left scorch marks on the mat. The crowd gasped as Satan executed a triple somersault with a twist that seemed to defy the laws of physics and good taste. His landing, accompanied by a minor earthquake, was met with stunned silence quickly followed by thunderous applause and a few spontaneous exorcisms in the stands. This left Simone Biles and other contenders to ponder their next career moves, possibly in less infernal sports like badminton. Moving to the pommel horse, Satan's hands left trails of smoke with every swing, culminating in a dismount so fiery the apparatus itself began to smolder. Judges, caught between awe and existential dread, awarded him a perfect 10. 
One judge was heard muttering, well, it's either that or eternal damnation. The International Olympic Committee is now in crisis talks, debating whether to exercise the competition or embrace the chaos. In the meantime, Satan has promised more jaw-dropping acts, hinting at a possible appearance in synchronized swimming. As the dust and brimstone settle, one thing is clear. With Satan in the mix, the Paris Olympics are hotter than ever. Why are people slamming the Paris 2024 Olympic opening ceremony? Well, it's all to do with their controversial representation of the Last Supper. The ceremony pulled out all the stops in welcoming back the event to the city, with a line of star-studded appearances from the likes of Celine Dion, Lady Gaga and even Snoop Dogg. But what people can't get the hang of is the country's portrayal of Leonardo da Vinci's Last Supper, which featured a diverse lineup including several drag artists and dancers dining at the iconic table. This scene, aiming to capture a nightclub atmosphere, was praised by some younger viewers but was mainly criticised by others as a woke parody. It even caught the likes of Elon Musk who claimed the show was extremely disrespectful to Christians. The mastermind behind the opening ceremony was none other than French artistic director Thomas Jolly. Speaking to British Vogue, he believes that there is room for everybody in Paris. Maybe it's a little chaotic but it allows everyone to find a place for themselves and said the ceremony will only be successful if everyone feels represented in it. What are your thoughts? Hey y'all, I'm the Money Professor. The government hates to tell us how to create generational wealth, how to grow our money tax-free, and how to get out of debt. But what if I told you life insurance was the answer? Would you believe me? That's why so many of my people stay in poverty and end up working until they die. We run away from the thought of life insurance because we were programmed to think only about death insurance. In reality, life insurance is the only vehicle where you can create generational wealth, grow your money tax-free, and have a retirement plan all in one, as well as life insurance. Don't let the government fool you. Life insurance is for the living. That's why it's called life insurance and not death insurance. Comment interested down below and we can schedule a 30 minute consultation to see what best suits you and your needs for your future and your legacy. Talk to you soon. Yeah, um, this definitely was a live ritual. Um, per usual, because like I said in the past, We've seen similar things with just famous people in, original, um, in general when they're performing concerts, um, at award shows, whatever. They're always, you know, messing with our subconscious and putting it blatantly in our face now. They used to like at least subliminally do it or try to do it in our subconscious. Now they're putting it in our conscious and right in your face like they don't care. Um, but I could speak on some things that could measure out up to why what and with this and that but i ain't even going to take it there because it's not none of my business honey but period it's just no excuse um for them to do what they have done it's it's really sad um but this is scary like it's really scary and if i'm being honest um, they do not care about us. Clearly, they don't care about humanity. They don't care about our children. They don't care about our futures. They don't care about their futures. And they just want us to respect who they worship. That's not happening. So, um, but they literally, um, I don't know. I didn't watch it. Like I said, did they literally have a person dressed up as 
Satan, the devil, and doing gymnastics? Did, was that real? Like, I mean, everything else, like shit. But that's crazy. If they literally did that, like, that would be freaking crazy. If they literally did that, like, was that real? Was that a real story? Of uh, what that person, what that person did, dressed up. I don't know, honey, because uh, that's crazy. I'm confused. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> but um, um, it's shit. It's a lot more than just the Last Supper scene. It was the whole show, the whole opening ceremony. From what I gathered, was diabolical. Not just the Last Supper scene. That was crazy too. They had like a bunch of drag queens and I don't know. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, it's not funny, but it's funny. It's really sad. Like, this shit's wild. It's really wild. It's wild AF, okay? It's really sad and crazy. But they always have an excuse for everything, don't they? Talking about they need to make sure everybody feels included. So, what? Devil worshippers? Um people with different sexualities okay that's cool but to blatantly have a man out there with his balls hanging no nah, no nah, they had a lot of just wow like oh my goodness. that was on regular tv like you didn't even need to have cable to watch the ceremony so everybody if you got an antenna connected to whatever honey you seen it if you wanted to see it that's horrible that's horrible that's horrible. That is horrible. Like, really, it really is. But um, um, on a sad note, we've reached the end of this video, honey. And I do want to say some things because a lot of you, not a lot of you, a little sprinkle, a little sprinkle, little time sprinkle. Y'all taking this way too serious, honey. And this is for entertainment. Um, I'm doing this because I want to do this. I'm doing this because I really actually love doing this. I watch, like, I literally, like, feel like I studied YouTube for years and just, you know, did my thing and watch other people blow up on YouTube from beginning to end and their careers are just somewhere else right now. And I love YouTube, literally. Call me crazy, I do. And so I'm, I love to laugh, I love to joke, I love to be me, I love to be loud, I love to make faces. <laughs> I love to do weird shit, like this just who I am. So I want you here with me, I want you to feel comfortable, we gonna thug it out, be chilling, you know, tit chat. If I talk too much for you, you can exit stage left. You don't have to be here with us. You are not a part of the soul trap then. And that's okay. Like, I still love you because you're still giving me views. You're still putting me in the algorithm. So I still appreciate you. So thank you. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to say that because, honey, chill out for real or go somewhere else. It's that simple. But to everybody else, I love you. I thank you. It's the end of the video. Fingers. <laughs> but not for all. I appreciate y'all being here with me per usual. I appreciate your time. I do not take it for granted whatsoever. Please like, comment, and share, honey. Of course, to everybody that you know. Your niece, your nephew, your auntie, your uncle, your mom, your daddy, your granny, your aunt, your granddaddy. Your bestie, your enemy, because what? Anybody can get it. <laughs> but yes, hit me in the links if you're trying to get a hold of me for something important. Don't waste my time, honey, because I won't waste yours. I love y'all. I appreciate you. Ashe.